The apocalypse is here. Let's talk about the changes that Unity introduced and I'll also give you an update on the channel. Unity's new pricing model is pretty awful. They broke the trust of many, their PR is a disaster and now they are in damage control mode. There are already numerous videos about the subject and new information keeps coming out every day. There are two big issues. Number one is that it's a radical change of the terms and conditions with retroactive effects. And this broke the trust. It's insane. Number two is that the runtime fee is awful. An installation is not a sale. It is now a cost to the developer, but the player controls that cost. Usually when you market your game, you track what we call user acquisition cost. It is the amount of money that you have to spend to be able to acquire a user. So let's say that you spend 10 euros in advertisements. If with these 10 euros you receive 10 new users, then your user acquisition cost is one euro per user. So let's say your game costs 15 euros. Well, one euro is gone just to get that user to buy it. So the installation fee goes on top of that and the worst of all, you have no control about that fee. This reduces trust and creates an uncertainty as to how much you will actually have to pay Unity and what kind of other surprises they will come up with. I'll come back to that uncertainty in a moment. With that being said, I don't even feel it's productive to discuss the pricing table or the fact that if you use certain services, you can negotiate the, the runtime fee. The fact that this negotiation is already communicated by Unity means that they know that this deal or this package that they are proposing is already bad out of the box. Now, we all have invested a lot of time learning Unity and some of us have been using it for years. And there is also a desire, even subconsciously, to switch to another fancy tool. But we invested all so much into that engine that it feels like going a step back and wasting years of experience by switching to another engine and starting all over again. So the question is, should you use Unity or not? I know that for some, it's now a big no-no, but for others, it's more complicated. For me, there are three buckets of use cases, hobby, professional, and business. First bucket, the hobby. You make games in your free time for fun. You release them or maybe not. Nothing is monetized. It's all fun and passion. This change doesn't affect you financially. It just affects you ethically. Unity as an engine is still a great engine. The people in charge of business decisions are the ones that you are not agreeing with. And in that case, I say it's really anyway up to you. It's a hobby. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be not stressful. Use really whatever tool you want. It's just a tool to get the work done that you want to create. Now, second bucket is a little bit more serious. Let's say that you want a job in the gaming industry. If you are learning and you are new to the industry, you will most probably be aiming for junior positions. A junior position means that the company will train you to some degree to be up to speed with their own pipelines, their own tools, their internal services, uh, and their general way of working. Often they will be hiring a junior Unity developer, a junior tech artist with experience in this or that engine, and so on. So usually you can enter with zero or little bit of experience. Now the house is on fire. Many studios have announced that their next game is not going to be with Unity. This is a scary moment for both juniors and seniors. Now, instead of reacting hot-headed, I say to observe the market because Unity's policies might change. They might reverse or even, you know, we don't want that, but they might get worse. Based on that, studios will either follow through with their statement or they will pedal back and still use Unity because Unity as an engine is still a great engine. Now, many people are angry, but the future is not written in stones. From what I have seen, there is a strong will to change engines, but this is a transition that will last at least one to two years because transitioning from one engine to another is not an easy task. Not only that, lots of projects are now in a production phase and needs to be finished, released, or just maintained. We are not talking about web technologies here. 
there the transition can be much faster and incremental. For a game, you cannot slowly migrate to another engine. It's all or nothing. So if you plan to enter in the gaming industry, your best course of action would be to be comfortable with both engines, Unreal and Unity. Because as the market evolves, you will see where it goes and maybe you spend more time with one engine over the other. But knowing both engines will 100% not hurt you and you will be, let's say, at a safer place when things uh, really uh, change radically. Stay flexible and you might be surprised that actually your knowledge can be transferred to other engines. It just takes some getting used to. Third and final bucket, the complicated one, you aspire to build your own studio. So you are on the entrepreneur path. And here there are two sub buckets, self-funded, or externally funded, so you have a deal with a publisher, or maybe you received a grant, or whatever. And here again, the topic of uncertainty and lack of trust is really important. Unity's pricing model is annoying because it's not easily predictable. And not only that, there could be worse surprises coming in the future. Now, couple this with the hard reality of game development, which is that most games flop. Sorry, but those are the statistics. Now wait, there are worse statistics. 20% of businesses fail within two years and the next 45% don't even survive five years. So, okay, building a business is hard. Actually, it's not only hard, it's brutal. Is using Unity a good idea from a business perspective? My feeling right now is that if you are growing a business, that goes past 200K, 500K, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million of revenue. Now it has a new level on uncertainty. It's not clear what you will pay Unity, and it is also not clear if you will be able to negotiate with them custom terms and what kind of other surprises might come along the road. This means that Unity's new pricing model is a problem for successful studios, it is a problem for pitching your game to publishers, it is a problem when you pitch your game to Apple Arcade or any other deal. The executable that you are producing out of Unity and upload on a store is now a ticking time bomb that can generate an unknown cost in the future. But maybe you will also always be under the threshold. And in that case, it's more a question of ethics and how you feel about the situation. What is certain is that now it's more risky to use Unity than it was before. That's my feeling. I'll conclude by mentioning all right, I found it. I'll conclude by mentioning this book, Who Moved My Cheese? It's this one, it's a very small book. It's a parable about two mice in a maze searching for cheese, and each character represents a different attitude towards change. With the cheese being what we consider success, I highly recommend you read this book, and spoiler alert, one mouse embraces change and the other one does not. Unity as an engine is still a great engine, but it's not the only engine. This episode is a good reminder that we have to stay aware, flexible, always observing and always ready to change. And most importantly, not be afraid to change. You know, back in the days there was Flash, some other game developers mentioned that they were working on Flash and Flash died and then they had to switch to something else, which was in this case Unity. This is how it goes. Sometimes technology changes and you adapt or you don't. If you're already working in the industry and you are, let's say, a senior Unity developer with 15 years of experience and your studio decides now to drop Unity and switch to another engine, well, this sucks. Those can be really hard times for, for developers, but also for studios. I was surprised that so many studios were uh, releasing statements that they were going to drop Unity because dropping an engine means that you are either retraining all your developers or you are firing them, which is not nice overall. So all those issues really contribute to people being angry at Unity, it's understandable. For newcomers, however, it's an opportunity to learn, to grow, and most of all, to be better prepared uh, when things are changing. So let me also give you an update on this channel. There is no discussion that the runtime fee is really awful and it's kind of a betrayal. Still, personally, I will not stop using Unity today. I have my mobile game that is being made with Unity and I intend to finish it. There is also another project I'm working on that uses Unity for at least one more year. So for the time being, uh, I will still be using Unity.
If the game makes 150,000 euros in sales, I will be some rich son of a gun, I'm telling you that. And at that moment, I will see what is the policy, what are the rules, and what should be my next step. But at least I will know that I can reach success. I will have more options at that time. But switching engine on the spot is irrational. It just delays my game by an unknown number of months. And that's no fun. I believe that tools are tools and the success of a game is not linked to a particular tool. However, in parallel, I will be investing a few hours each month to learn Unreal Engine. I always wanted to try it out and this is basically the kick in the butt to do it. So there might be more variety coming to this channel, especially if I start using Unreal Engine here and there. I didn't mention other game engines on purpose. My focus will be with the two giants, but the other engines are great too. Each have their strengths and their weaknesses. You are free to try them out and, and have fun. All right, that was a hell of a week. Be kind, go work on your game, or maybe go learn another engine.